This is Module 3, Lesson 6, Formation of the Will. If the intellect should be trained, the will on the other hand must be formed. The word will or volition can be associated with the following words. Choose, love, practice, act, resist, persevere, control, avoid, follow, internalize, comply, resolve, balance, display, obey, and many more. In this lesson, let's find out some of the ways how to form the will. Let's go! How do we form the will of our students? Of course, there are many ways to do that, but let's find out some of them in this lesson. First, practice virtues and good moral habits. We should provide opportunities for our students to practice virtues and good moral habits. Dapat rin natin silang i-encourage na isabuhay ang kagandahang asal sa loob at labas ng paaralan. Dapat rin nating ipaunawa sa kanila na ang pagpapakita ng kabutihang asal ay walang pinipiling oras at lugar at hindi kahinaan ang pag-iwas sa gulo at bangayan. Number 2. Change and improve oneself. Ito ang kagandahan lalo na sa mga ka sa kabataan kasi they have the luxury of time. A time to change and a time to develop. Ang pinakamagandang target natin is to change their bad attitude or bad mental dispositions dahil dito nang gagaling ang mga external behavior. Kung ano ang paniniwala nila, yun ang nag i sa kanilang mga kilos o behavior. Number 3. Persevere, Sustain, and Commit Ang kabutihan ng kalooban at ang dedikasyon sa kabutihan ay lalong higit na nasusukat sa oras ng kagipitan, pagsubok, at tukso. Halimbawa, nasusukat ang pagiging mapagpakumbaba sa mismong sitwasyon na gusto nating maging mayabang at mapagmataas sa kapwa o sa mga pagkakataon na gustong mangibabaw ang pride natin. Bahagi ng formation of the will ang pagsisikap na mapagtagumpayan ang maliliit at malalaking pagsubok o mga tukso na magpalamon tayo sa bugso ng damdamin. Keyword is perseverance. Number 4. Exercise self-discipline and control the emotions. Bahagi ng formation of the will ang pagtuturo sa mga estudyante na isa buhay, i-practice o i-exercise ang tamang disiplina sa sarili at pagkontrol sa mga emosyon, lalo na sa puso at puson, di ba? <laughs> Malaking tulong dito ang paggamit ng mga kwento na nagpapakita ng disiplina sa sarili at magagandang bunga ng pagkukontrol sa mga pabugso-bugsong damdamin ng kabataan. Keyword, self-discipline, pati na ang self-control. Number 5. Make Responsible Use of Freedom Sa totoong buhay, ang magagawa natin sa values education ay ituro ang kahulugan ng kalayaan at pananagutan, pati ang responsabling paggamit ng ating kalayaan. Hindi na natin saklaw kung ano ang pipiliin ng ating mga estudyante, kaya ang pinakadabes na magagawa natin ay ibigay ang susi, ang tamang kaalaman at moral compass na magagamit nila sa pagpili ng tama at makabubuti sa kanila, sa pamilya at sa kapwa. Ang keyword natin ay Responsible Use of Freedom. Number 6. Act upon a decision rationally. Bahagi ng formation of the will ang pagkilos o pagsasakatuparan ng mga desisyon na pinag-isipan o plinano ng maayos, hindi sapat na nagplano lang o pinag-isipan lang. Sa formation of the will, importante dito yung pagkilos ng mga estudyante natin at higit sa lahat, paano nila isinasagawa ang kanilang plano o desisyon. Dito papasok yung kahalagahan ng aksyom na the end does not justify the means. Importante na naaayon sa moral standard ang mga pamamaraan sa pagkakamit ng anumang layunin. Kaya nga acting rationally, di ba? Opposite ito ng irrational acts. Ibig sabihin, mga kilos na pinag-iisipan, plinano at naaayon sa moral standard. Keyword, acting rationally. Number 7, take responsibility of the logical consequences of a decision and act. Sa values education, itinuturo din natin ang pananagutan ng bawat isa. Kung ang ginawa ng ating mga estudyante ay may hindi ka nais-nais na bunga o resulta, kailangan nilang harapin at panagutan. Huwag takasan. Kung bagsak dahil di nag-aral bago mag-exam, aba ay harapin. Kung nakabuntis o nabuntis, 
dapat panagutan at panindigan dahil ginusto nila yon. Ang keyword natin dito related sa will ay taking responsibility, paninindigan o pananagutan. Number 8. Choose the higher good or universal truths and moral values. If you remember the utilitarian ethics by John Stuart Mill, meron siyang sinasabi na lower pleasure and higher pleasure. In the same manner, meron ding lower values and higher values. Halimbawa, mas mataas na pagpapahalaga ang pagrespeto sa tao kaysa sa pagrespeto sa aso. Mas mataas ang pagpapahalaga sa pag-aaral kaysa sa paglalaro ng paborito mong online games. Sa values education, tungkulin natin na ituro ang mga mas matataas na universal at moral values at kailangan ipaintindi natin kung bakit mas mainam na piliin sila kaysa sa mas mababang uri ng pagpapahalaga. At ang pinakamahalaga ay isabuhay nila ang higher values. That is exactly the reason why we teach values in school. To make sure that they are choosing to practice the universal truths and moral values. In that way, they will contribute to the building of just and humane society. Keyword, to choose. Number 9, Love God and Neighbor. Sa values education, bahagi ng formation of the will ang pagtuturo na mayroong highest good or truth himself or the creator which is the ultimate object of the intellect and will. Ang, and that is God. Hindi natin kailangan magturo ng complicated concepts about God or about theological doctrines. Ang importante na malaman ng mga estudyante ay mayroong Diyos na may likha ng lahat. We have to acknowledge this truth as the backbone of finding the purpose of our existence. Kahit sa ating Philippine Constitution, di ba? This loving Creator is acknowledged by our fathers. Di ba sinasabi sa preamble na, We, the sovereign Filipino people, imploring the aid of the Almighty God in order to build a just and humane society, and so on. So God is acknowledged and His help is needed to build our society. In the same manner, in values education, we acknowledge our need for God's help or grace so that we can achieve our goals and purpose in life. So, we find ways for our students to express their love of God through their loving concern for others. Our keyword here is to love. Question, why should we form the will? First, to master its function and its function is right to do or to act. Second, to refine its purpose and its purpose is to choose or to love. Third, to achieve its goal correctly and its goal is, that's right, goodness. And lastly, to reach its fulfillment and its highest fulfillment as far as volition is concerned is virtue. So, these are the reasons why we should form the will. So those are some ways how to form the will of our students and why we should form the will. This brings us to the end of this lesson 9, Formation of the Will. And this lesson is the last lesson in Module 3, which is the nature of the human person. And that's the Module 3, Lesson 6, Formation of the Will. Let's have a quick recap of Module 3, Nature of the Human Person. In Lesson 1, we define the term human nature. In Lesson 2, we learned the threefold level of human nature. In Lesson 3, we studied the integral nature of the human person. Then we moved to Lesson 4, where we talk about the lower and higher faculties. Then in Lesson 5, we discussed some ways how to train the intellect and why we should train the intellect. And in the last lesson, Lesson 6, we learn some ways how to form the will of our students. And that's the Module 3, Nature of the Human Person under the course Philosophical and Ethical Foundations of Values Education. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Thank you and see you in the next module.